Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Today I want to give you some guidelines, how to some general guidelines, how to become a professional Clash of Streamers player. I have 12 tips that I'm gonna give you in this video, and each of those tips is gonna give you points. So count your points and we will see later how good of a Clash of Streamers player you are. So the first uh, tip I'm gonna give you is connect with a platform in settings building. It's the most easy one, but also the most important one, because that will give you epic trust, and epic trust unlocks a lot of features in the game, and also increases your, your, your loot, and also makes your account more secure. Preferably you connect with multiple platforms, you, can, don't, you don't connect with only one, because uh, I connected with one platform and I got banned on that platform, so I could literally, literally not play game, not play Clash of Streamers on, that, on this account, but if I had connected with, for example, Facebook or YouTube as well, then I could have still connected to this account and played with a Facebook or YouTube connection. So if you have connected with one account, you get 20 points, and if you have connected with two platforms or more, you get 30 points. So tip number two is play with multiple accounts. I would say minimum five accounts. I know that's a lot, but if you are serious, if you're trying to be serious about making some money through this game, you will need a lot of Krypton, and having multiple accounts is gonna allow you to have more Krypton earning potential. So if you're playing with multiple accounts, uh, if you're playing with 5 or more accounts, you're gonna get 50 points. Number 3 is you make in-app purchases, but not any in-app purchases, you make smart ones. And what I mean by that is you try to buy purchases that are very good, that have very good sale point to dollar ratio, and then you buy uh, expensive deals with the sale points. For example, you buy the 50 cent deals or the gold boosts for real money, for dollars or for euros, because they have very good sale points to dollar ratio, or you buy uh, account power level boosts, uh, where's the account power level boost? Here's the account level boost you buy with vouchers, for example, that because the, it's very efficient to buy them with vouchers at the moment, or you buy uh, the whale packs or uh, exclusive skin deals with sale points. These are some smart purchases, and, and if you do them, you get 40 points. And number four, tip number four, is keep track of your money, uh, how much you invested, how much your account is worth, and how much you cashed out. Just make an Excel spreadsheet or a Google Sheets spreadsheet if you don't have one yet, and that's gonna give you 20 points. Because uh, it's like uh, whenever you want to lose weight, you keep track of your weight, right? So if you want, if you want to make money, you should try to keep... Uh, how much money you, you invest in, how much money you cash out. Number five, you keep learning and you seek uh, for information about the game outside the game. For example, you watch other content creators, like you watch a teen's stream on Twitch, you watch uh, my or other YouTubers' uh, content videos, or you, have, uh, you are in Discord servers, you have Discord groups and servers and channels, or you join the Facebook groups. So you get 30 points uh, because you're all already watching this video, but just keep in mind that you, you can have uh, some other sources of information outside the game as well. Number six is you buy uh, and collect uh, and hodl, most, most, most importantly, you hodl uh, or hold uh, the pet or hero or building exclusive skins because uh, they're gonna be worth a lot more when the game gets more popular. Like for example, someone someone is selling Arena for 13,000, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab that, it's gonna be worth a lot more, like 50,000 after one year, for example, or even more. So if you own some skins, if you own a, a pet or hero or a building skins, you get 30 points. Number seven, you play the game every day, but you don't play it too much. For example, you should have your daily routine and you should have you should be able to be able to complete it in uh, five to ten minutes maximum. It's not a very grindy game, so uh, you should you should just do your daily sentence, just move on to something else. So if you can finish your daily routine in ten minutes or less, then you get twenty points. If you cannot finish your daily routine in tw ten minutes or less, you get zero points. And daily routine can be whatever you want. Actually, uh, I would say next daily, so you should you should complete your daily quests uh, for sure and you collect your Geopet uh, pets, pet, pets from Geopet Go for sure. And then after those two things, you can do whatever else you want on top. For example, you can trade in Merchant or in, in Marketplace. You can go fight a little bit in Attack Streamer building or um, fight an Idle Boss uh, uh, building. Make your own daily routine. But those two things uh, that I mentioned at first, like daily quests and uh, pets from Geopet Go, those are a must. Point number eight, you own Purpose or you own Doobie or you own both of them. Uh, in your crypto wallet. If you do that, that means you believe in the game, you believe in the developer team, and you believe in their altruistic uh, charity efforts. And that deserves another 40 points. Number 9, being in the correct community is also very important. It's more fun to play it like that, I think, in my opinion at least, 
and also uh, you support that person you support the community your community leader and if you're in the correct community that's that community leader might also support you back for example they might give you krypton whenever you make purchases they might give you like uh, krypton giveaways or even challenges so as long as you are not in your own community and as long as you're not in a teen lives community you get 50 points so here are the communities i'm for example now in john doe's community and he's in my community we support each other point number 10 you don't waste your currency on item events if you cannot complete them for example you don't go to upgrade building and upgrade your heroes if you cannot complete the upgrade event and same goes for uh, summon event and same goes for get lucky event of course we also have the gem event and the uh, merge event you complete uh, every week you try to complete every week at event you complete, it auto you complete it automatically and treasure event is also optional if you want. So if you're patient with your weekly event currency, you get 35 points. Now point number 11, you're active in the auction house. You try to sell your duplicate colored and shiny pets. You can sell your loot cards and hero skins as well, but the most important thing is you're active with uh, your pet trading. It's a win-win-win situation because the developers uh, get the Krypton removed from the game because uh, of the 5% tax. You win because you get uh, your Krypton and get rid of the useless pet. And the buyer wins because he gets what he wants. He, get, he gets what he buys. That deserves 30 points. And the last point, number 12, is you recommend Clash of Streamers to other people. Because the more players we have in the game, the, the better it is for the game. The better it is for the Krypton economy, for the NFT economy, uh, from the for the cryptocurrency economy like Gooby, and also for the developers. If you do so, you get 25 points. So in total, we could have gathered 400 points. Um, if you've gathered 300 or more points, I think we are we are on a very good way to meet one day in the Bahamas. If you have gathered somewhere with between 200 and 300 points, that means you're you're maybe you're making some money, some some little money, but probably not a very life-changing amount. And if you have 200 or less points, that means you still have a lot of room to improve with your Clash of Streamers gameplay. I'm also gonna make a new playlist where I'm gonna list my most important videos. I think I have about 50 videos by now on this channel, but in the playlist I will have maybe 5 most important videos with the, with, that have really the most crucial information about the game, in case, you, in case you want to learn more and improve your points. And that's all from me, I hope you enjoyed it, thank you very much for watching, check out the description and see you in the next video, have a good day, goodbye!